video. Um, very excited because whenever I get something from Yokyo, it's usually quite a few items that I have been really, really wanting <laughs> for some time. Just needed to have enough. And a lot of this was purchased while they were having various deals like uh, waiving the fee for, or was that the last one? Yeah, I don't think this was a deal one though. Talk about deals. Uh, currently they have one for, uh, that they're, they're waiving their fee for anything bought off of Rakama up to May 21st. I'm definitely using that to get some like smaller, items. Okay, I think that's just packaging. Yes, it is. And let's get into this. Of course, I'm also excited because it has Mina card since this is when I started to really focus on getting the last few or the last cards I need for her as I am getting very close to having everything that I want to collect for album cards. Okay, that is the main. <laughs> Okay, big pile. Oh, what is this on the bottom? Ah! Photo cards go everywhere. Come on, come on. Oh, that's right. Okay, I guess we'll be looking at that first once I detach everything. So yeah, <laughs> little glimpses of some of the stuff I have. And this but I found a, a listing for uh, Sungman the sound for some of the extras so let's get this out okay that's nice, they put it in a clear file. But yes, this is like the little clear poster that was a pre-order benefit. And yeah, I got a couple, I believe, of, of his photo cards from it. So. Let's see, put that up there for now. And let's see, move it on to other, other larger. Oh, I think I got something I wasn't expecting. All right, so I got another issue of Blink Up. This is a Japanese idol magazine that focuses mostly on the idols from Johnny's and Associates. This is for April, 2023. And yeah, I have a, I guess one of these days I probably want to go through my collection. Oh, oh, that's right. This would have come out when uh, they announced their calendar. Cause uh, for Johnny's they release uh, their calendars, but they're based on the Japanese school year. So they start on, start, I think April and in March. And 
usually for the magazines that they put out that month. They have like stickers and the like. Oh, yeah. Fold out poster. And this is a lot of the, uh, well, they're juniors. They're basically the trainees for Johnny's. So, in fact, this group up there is one of, is it? group of trainees um but yeah gonna move on I got some need you I didn't think this was okay so I got some photo cards I didn't think this listing mentioned having anything extra like this But this is basically just a little pamphlet to uh, promote the release of Paradise with Rima being in the front there. but this is I forget which version it, I mean it doesn't come with the DVD or anything but it's the version that has the, the actual girls on it so this is the photo card that I was going for oh it looks like we have uh, is this stickers yeah extra stickers interesting Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> speaking of paradise, this is going to be another version. And this has the anime because I think this is the other Rima that I got. Should be in here. Yes. Wanted to get this one because it's just so cute. So that's the Rima I got for Paradise, because I needed two of her cards. Those are the two I decided to get. Sorry, <laughs> just putting everything away real quick. All right, and there's that CD. Talk about CDs, we got one more. And kind of going back to J-pop again here. I got oh I'm not just fix that because it's supposed to I need I'm gonna want to keep <laughs> let's say that I'm gonna want to keep this bag to put this in since there's the obi this is for news their album on Gaku um, they are my ult of ults for idol groups in general. Ooh. I really like this photo shoot. Kind of artsy with the black and white. But this is like the limited A, so it comes with a DVD, which if I remember right, has the music video for the title track. Okay, and this is mainly just lyrics, nothing. Not much else, but uh, kind of missed out when it first came out, so I decided to go back and get this of course with news they're the kind of group that I want to get all the versions for um, so <laughs> I need two more versions for this album and like two more versions for the follow-up uh, mini album 
but at least I have at least the first version and I know a lot of this is interlude but still 21 tracks damn well it's not just like a whole bunch of interludes but there's also the a sides but that's that's still a decent amount of new music which is one reason I love like j-pop groups especially Johnny's because they'll give you a lot of music with their releases oh and something kind of unique um let's see if I can get it out of all this plastic So sorry I'm doing all this off camera, it's just, it would be too much of a pain to try to do it on camera. Oh, I'm just gonna have to get cut through this. But basically I'm just trying to kind of keep up with my Japanese a bit. So when I was in Japan, uh, I randomly picked up a series, which is this, uh, Makai uh, Lily. And yeah, I like picked up a random volume of it. And I did that just for like reading practice because, um, it's at the level where they put like the furigana above the kanji so that's kind of where i feel i'm at for reading so i just i learned by doing so for me it's so much better to actually have something that i can actually read than trying to just quiz myself with flashcards that that doesn't help it helps me you know, seeing things in context and such, which is why I got this. This definitely seems to be the kind of level I want to be at and feel comfortable at right now. And this is the first two books of uh, the series. So that way, <laughs> you know, I can maybe start working on reading comprehension and all that fun stuff for my Japanese because it is getting rusty and I don't want to lose it. Um, okay, and now for this, where we're actually going back to photo cards. Uh, let's see, how did they pack this? I thought I felt. Oh, they definitely folded it over, so. There we go, there we go. And this is a set of season greetings cards for Rima from both their first and their latest season's greetings, which basically catches it up with what I have for Nina. Um, it also has this little sticker that I think came in one of them. So that's very cute. Um, let's see. I want to pull these out. Pretty sure these two are from last year's season's greetings and there's her little character on the back e go there and this is from this year's uh, season's greetings i did get the bookmark for nina as well okay tear into that so there is that. And these are the cards from this year's. But yeah, my I don't have a top one. I have a top two <laughs> for Nijiu. And that's 
both Nina and Rima. And the reason that I collect like so much more for Nina is just because she's a very cheap member to collect and I don't want to like collect more than one. But I do try my best to getting a little bit more for Rima. Um, just to balance out the best I can. Um, I'm always tempted though just just to break down and collect all of her just like Nina but <laughs> I don't think I can really find it in my budget. Okay and moving on. So I found a listing for this and I was this is from Let's see, Twice Showcase Live Tour 2018, Candy Paw. And I, when I saw this, I like just knew I had to get it. It's basically a little badge thing, but the members for it is Gio, Mina, and Chewie, who are my top three. And it's like, oh my gosh, I need this. I mean, I'm not sure why they picked these three to put together because you know it's definitely not age order um but I don't care <laughs> they're my top three and I now have something like official that has you know them all together so I just I could not pass that up okay <laughs> now let me try to make a somewhat decent pile of stuff over here because there is a lot to get through <laughs> Oh, stuff sticking together. Eh. Okay. All right. So I am working on finishing up my Xi'an collection for Wanus. Getting very close. So I got some stuff for Malice for him, because that's the one that I'm missing the most for. So this is like one of the larger inclusions that came with this card that I needed. Of course, I've ended up having to buy duplicates of it because uh, I got a set with the like the rest of the cards I needed, but I couldn't find like all of them in a set without like this card. But that's fine because now that I'm putting in the light, this one seems to have some marks on it, like indents and stuff. So I guess I'll see how that other card looks and make a decision on what I'm doing with that. Um, let's see. Gonna have to cut this one open. But yes, now realizing that I am getting kind of close for finish up Mina, I've been trying to focus on getting what I'm missing of hers, which included these yes or yes cards. And I finally have like a card for this set, which is what I plan on being my nine member card. So I have my first one for that. And then this Mina Yes or Yes card. And with this, I also decided to make a little bit more progress with my TPM collection. So I got this Joan K. And now I just need one more of his cards and I will be done with the, uh, at least his collection for must. And since this was before Unforgiven released, when I started this, I did get some Fearless cards this time of Yunjin. Or Yunjin. And so, ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yes, she is a world-shaking beauty though, so. 
it's understandable. <laughs> but yes, got that card. And oh, so they put a little message in there. That's cute. I wish my Japanese was better so I could read it all. I I know it has the standard like I think maybe thank you for buying. Yurushko Nikai. Oh, that little smiley face. So cute. Oh, but that's definitely Arigato Gazanas, so definitely thank you. Aw. But yes, also got this. I uh, So I at least have something for her. So I think, yeah, it's just her and Sakura that I need cards from Fearless for. All right. Of course, going back to twice, there's just going to be a lot of twice in this. <laughs> this time we have one of the year of yes, Minas. Oh, okay. This looks to be just like freebie. And then one of the Japanese cards. I'm not sure which release this is for. I think it's one of their albums. But I've seen that in like a lot of the listings, but it happened to just come with that a year of yes. So I now have it. <laughs> All right. have a couple Jihyo eyes wide open because I do need I think I'm at the point now where I only need one more card for her to finish up eyes wide open so these are the two that I got here oh and then <laughs> randomly some NCT for two baddies. They had, well, I forget which version of it. I want to say it's a Nemo version, but in any case, I have one of the cards from it. I think there's at least one more that I need. Um, they also put the sticker in, so I have that. <laughs> And then for the collection, I'm just kind of starting up, or one of the twice collections I'm just starting up. I'm really excited about this one. Um, let's see. Mostly this is Sana's lenticular, and that's of course for page two, but I got the version that actually has her initials correct on the back. Um, because, uh, I guess in an early run, they goofed <laughs> and it's another member's initials on the back, but this one actually has the correct ones. And let's, oh, I see. Okay. Eee. And then we have this one, but it is her full set. So at least I am done with Hasana for the first two twice releases. All right, this one 
and I did get one of uh, the group card or the unit cards and it's one of the ones I didn't have um, so there's that so definitely keeping it very excited to get this one. Oh, come on where is it there we go oh this is an interesting bag that they put this one in <laughs> or it's just like really flimsy plastic wrapping come on And then I just dropped the card. Yay. Okay, so I got the last signal card that I needed for Mina. I can get it out of here. There we go. So I'm now done with signal for her. And then another collection that I'm just starting up on. Though, this is also part of a nine, one of my nine sets, and that's the Momo. And this actually comes with the, uh, the little red sheet so you can read the message. I'm not sure if you can see it all that well, but. So that was kind of nifty. But, of course, it came with another which will again once I'm done with Mina, Jihyo, and Chewie I am moving to Moo, Sana, and Dahyun so definitely need some of their cards and I think I'm going to just have to move this out of the way completely now because I am running out of space All right, so the last time I tried to get these, it was canceled on me. Thankfully this time around, I was able to get Taehyun Solo for Good Boy Gone Bad. So I am now caught up with all the Japanese cards that I wanted to get for TXT, at least the three members that I collect. Ooh. Oh, come on, get out. I swear, they, I don't know how they find things that are like such tight fits. Okay. So this is a set of cards, but this is for Bay, and this is the Digipack, yes. I'm pretty sure this is her Digipack, if I remember right. But it came in a set of some other cards for her, which are all pops. But we have this, and this is definitely one of the main reasons I got it, because this is such a cute card. So from the back, it's a With Mew. And get out this other one. Not sure where this one's from, but again, another very cute bay card. So I'm actually now done with like pops for her since what I'm doing, if you didn't just like a went around for, I think not my last storing video or maybe the one before when I stored the end mix. I have decided to get uh, for all the members for X Virgo, they're all getting, uh, or I'm going to be collecting three of their, uh, their paws because I got that set of Aladdin car uh, pobs and I 
no, not Aladdin. Um, oh, what was it? Apple Music. Yes, the Apple Music, that full set of six. And I didn't want to get rid of any of them. So I've decided that I'm just going to collect pops for all six members um, in this era. And with that, I am now done with Bay. And things that I'm done with, I finally can say I'm complete with Christmas Evil for Stray Kids now that I have this Chang. Ah, Chang Din. So, yay! So happy to finally get myself in gear to finish that up. And I am so, so excited for their upcoming release. They're dropping like the teasers and stuff and it's just, I, it's three kids. I'm gonna love it. <laughs> they are an adult for a reason. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to twice. I got Nyon's Phil Special Gold card and it came in a set that also had this the hollow signal card which is like the nine member collection that I'm working on now for signal so I now have two cards since I already already have the Mina and that's about it All right, and for Chiho, right now I'm mostly focusing on not only finishing up the Eyes Wide Open, but also getting her pops. This is the Signal uh, album pop. And let's see, now we're gonna jump back over to some J-pop. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of the group anymore because I, I just have some of my issues. I still love uh, the member Sakura Oda and these are two of her trading cards um, from a 2016 and a 2017 release that I didn't have. So I can now add those to my collection and grow ever closer to finishing that off. And then I have this Mina What is Love, one of the rare single <laughs> trading cards that I purchased. Since I have been trying to, or I just tend in general to try to buy everything in lots and sets. Because it's usually almost always cheaper. Okay, and speaking of such, uh, this is the last field special card I needed for Mina. I think I'm going to have to start covering <laughs> some of these up. Um, and it happened to come with Chewy, which I also needed. So that is just perfect. Ah, this is one of the larger sets that I got. Um, and it is of that third new twice collection that I spoke of. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this open. <laughs> they got this packed well. Okay. But yes, I found a set of a whole bunch of Formula of Love. It's not the full set for Daihon, but it's a good portion of it. So have this album card. This album card as well as this one. And then I have her two IDs. So got that knocked out. 
And then here. Wow. That was jammed <laughs> very tight in that top loader. There we go. Okay. So, have the message card. And then two of the pobs, which actually works out well because I already have, uh, have the pink one. I just need to get the peach one. And then I'll be complete with all her pobs for formula, formula of love. Ah. So that's a, and of course it was super cheap. And that's what I'm noticing that Dahyun looks like she's going to be a pretty easy member to collect. Uh, Cause I keep finding sets for her for very reasonable prices, if not like for cheap. So, and this is the last ready to be card that I needed. So now I am complete for that release. And then we've got another set, mainly for the Jiho pops in it, or Jiho cards. If I can get this open. Oh my gosh, there we go. There we go. So like I said, mainly got it for the Jihyo here. So this is the pop for Merry and Happy. And this is actually one of her album cards for that, which is perfect. And then it also came with a uh, Chase Pob for Merry and Happy. So, actually, if I remember right, I, my OT9 set for Merry and Happy is like the Pob. So, that works out very well. Um, okay. And now we're back to something not twice. This is Maki from Ann Team. Uh, this is one of, I want to say it's from the pop-up store that they have for their first release. Um, but I needed like four more cards to kind of fill out a page of uh, pops and non-album related cards for like debut era is what I'm considering that. And I think going forward, I'm just going to collect three non-album cards for each release because they have their their next release. I believe it's June that it's coming out. And of course I'm going to continue collecting Maki for that. All right. And we're actually back to some NCT and more Utah, as this is his F SM Mini. And I got it in a set of some other cards. And I believe this is uh, a concert because it's Neo City Japan, The Link which I'm pretty sure was concert series. And pretty sure this was a Mumo that I'm opening now. A pop for that store, if I can get it out. Yes. 
So I got this as well. Now we're back to NMix for, yeah, that had to be Bay's Digi Pack because I'm pretty sure with this I am done with Digi Packs in general. And I say that because this is Lily's Digi Pack. Aw, I love answer like this and that. Cute. Yeah. Let me see the day. And, oh, this is a Make Star. Uh, pop. So I've got one more because with for Lily I collect a full page of nine uh, pops for each era. So though I need to go back and work on uh, Entwarf because I'm not done with that one but you know if I need to get one of her cards for Expergo and it comes with a Bob I'm definitely gonna pick it up because that'll help me out uh, in the long run. And this is Sana's gold card for Feel Special, which is great because that means I now have all nine of them. So I complete a nine member collection with that. So was very excited about getting that and gonna be so, so happy to store these there is so much and of course this is not even the end um because i did go ahead and send out or request uh poke market send the 40 cards that i had with them so hopefully by the end of the month i will have that um but back to this i went ahead and got this uh, songman yellow wood card I'm just gonna put these up here so they're not like I don't have to cover everything <laughs> but yeah that's I'm excited about getting that because it's it's gonna be a massive massive storing video which you know no surprise um, I can't recall the last time I did a monthly storing video that had less than a hundred. <laughs> oh, okay. So I went ahead and got a Jihyo's a couple of summer nights and this also comes with that, but I didn't realize that it did. I knew for the Momo because they pictured it. I don't recall if they pictured it for this for the Jihyo set and a set because it came with one other Summer Nights card. Oh no, two. Yes, two. Came with this one, which is so pretty. Seriously, Jihyo looks fantastic in the Summer Nights cards. I also got this, which is actually part of one of my nine pocket cards or nine pocket, nine member collections. Okay, more twice, but this time different member. Mainly got this so I could get this Sana card because this is uh, the nine member set that I'm getting for what is love and it happened to come with this card and let's see coming close to the end finally oh how did they there we go There we go. And now we have another two card set, which is Chewy, where I got this more and more card, as well as this feels special. And let's 
see. I need to cut that one open. Come on. Ah. And this is another two set, but it comes with this Mina for Fancy You that I needed. But it also comes with, came with this Dion. And this uh, set is the nine member set that I'm collecting uh, for Fancy You. So that was definitely a no brainer. <laughs> This is one of the bigger card sets. And do I only have twice left? No, no, okay. It's still mostly twice left, though. <laughs> and this one had like a mix of members, which is probably why the price was as low as it was. Because I've noticed, you know, if you have a set with, you know, different members. <laughs> Uh, it definitely sells, they're definitely selling it less than a full set of the same member, which for me makes it very easy. Um, and we get this Mina. So more fancy you. We got this Chewy, which is a Chewy that I needed. So that was perfect. Um, Not only that, but it also had a Jiho. So, and of course, a Jiho that I needed. So it just worked out so well, especially since the Moho is of course part of that nine member set. So I don't think I could have asked for like a better, uh, a better find. Oh, come on. I need to get this open. I'm, of course, very excited about this because I got the one Chewy, uh, like, child card that I needed um, to complete Story Begins. And that means I am now completely done for all three members uh, for that. So it was nice to have that card at long last. And then we get some more Mina. Because again, I, I'm definitely trying to focus on getting her cards so I can finish my collection for her. So. I think I just ended up getting a lot of fancy you for her. I have to double check because I think I may actually be done uh, for that album now too. At least for Mina. And let's see. I think this will be the last of the toys, if I'm not mistaken. And this is just Sana's Fancy You uh, pop set, which again, just wanting to get a, a good lead on Sana in general because I know she's probably going to be the hardest member for me to collect um, of the three. Okay. And that is indeed the last of, of the twice cards. And I am almost done. Got just two more card sets to go through. Oh, come on. If this will open. Or the... <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that they packed it well. Okay. So more pop-up store cards. Actually, I don't think this is a pop-up. It, I think this is a lucky draw because that's much thicker. Or maybe what I, no, that's not a pop-up. These are the pop-ups. 
and they're they are thicker material so these are the three I got and I guess this is the packaging uh, that they came in and with that I have that nine pocket page complete for Maki and I don't have to worry about anything until that next release comes out I think it's like mid next month and last but definitely not least uh, I got Lily's limited edition oh you're my home so cute and of course uh, got it with one of her pobs it's so cute <laughs> so yes this is everything I got in this uh, Yukio haul um, so much and I've been looking forward to so many of these since they like several of them complete collections and just make such great progress uh, and of course I got some new music from my favorite group so that's definitely definitely a huge plus um, and I've already started my next Neo Kyo haul. Uh, like I brought up, they're doing that idea where they're waiving the fee for Rakuma and you better believe I'm making the most of it with getting like singles because that, it makes it so affordable to just get like one card and not to get a full set um, if you can buy it without that fee. Um, so yes. So very very happy with what I have I cannot wait to store it all um, and like I said this is this is like just the beginning uh, because I have a poker market and that's not even accounting all the trades and various other like smaller purchases um, and I do want to I do have a book gonna have a bit of an unboxing I've been wanting to do something on my birthday, which is May 22nd, um, but I think I may actually give myself a little bit more time because <laughs> I'm probably going to need it uh, so I can buy a few more things uh, to have like a decent length <laughs> of video of an unboxing um, of several albums that I've been wanting to uh, get and I'll let myself for my birthday. So that won't happen on the 22nd. I will try to ha have it happen during that week though, definitely. Um, oh, I mean, it's still my birthday month, so that counts. <laughs> um, and yeah, then of course there's the haul video at the end of the month. Um, very happy with how my trading's been going. Um, and yeah, and I think beyond that, it's just, hopefully I'll get my haul video before the end of the month this time. And hey, who knows, maybe I will do the storing video before the end of the month as well. Probably not, because I have not managed to do so yet. But uh, I guess we'll see. If not, it's going to be at, at the very start of the month. Actually, I'm going to have to probably try to aim for the end of the month because now that I think about it, June 2nd <laughs> is when we get the U.S. release of Stray Kids and Hypen. And even though I'm not going to really collect them I mean, I'll probably just keep my pulls, but I do want to get a 50-50 there, a Cupid single that'll be coming out on the 2nd as well here in the U.S. Um, so yeah. Yeah, on the 2nd, there is going to be so much, 
So I definitely want to try to do a storm video before then because between those three releases on their own, I'm going to have a massive amount of cards. Um, but yeah, that is what I have or I know what I'll be getting coming up um, and making videos for. If you're interested in any of that, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Uh, and of course, thank you everyone who watched and especially those who have made it to the end here. Um, and of course, I appreciate any likes or comments. And until next time, bye.